So that was my daughter Ellen, who is 9 years old and she's been practicing the bass for about a year now. I'll get into her story in a minute, but right now I want to mention the app she uses for practicing because a lot of people have been asking about it. When Ellen was about 3 years old, she started playing with ukulele and piano. A good friend of mine, Z, he recommended this app called Musician and he spoke very highly about it. So I just decided to give it a try. Ellen just loved it and she started spending more and more time with it and the progress was just unbelievable. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, but I'm making this with the amazing people at Musician and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. So about a year ago, Ellen asked me if she can try one of my guitars without even knowing that it's not a guitar, it's a bass. I said, yeah, sure, go for it. That's my favorite record, so right there. Thank you very much. So that was her trying the bass for the very first time. I just made a simple groove in Pro Tools, told her to play only three open string notes, you know, just to get a feel of the bass, you know. And she said she liked it a lot, but in reality, this is where everything has really started. Ellen was basically born into music. Almost every day I was playing my acoustic guitar for her when she was only a few months old, and I think she was enjoying it a lot. I would let her play with my guitars without worrying that she can break or damage anything because that stuff is fixable but in return, unconsciously she was becoming more and more musical which I think is very important for any developing child She would meet my other musician friends and spend her time with us all the time She was learning the language of the music We gave her the freedom to be able to try anything she wants and play whatever she's having fun with we bought her a small Strat, a ukulele, piano, and even electric drums, and she started practicing with her iPad and musician. But that one day, she tried to play one of my basses and just fell in love with it. A kid playing air guitar will play with a smile on their face. Give them the first lesson, the smile goes away. And a lot of the times you have to work for your whole musical life to get that smile back. As teachers, we can keep that smile if we approach it the right way. And I say approach it like a language. Allow the student to keep the freedom. Words of wisdom from the greatest teacher himself, Mr. Victor Wooden. So that was the story up until now, but there's more that I want you guys to see it, so let's keep it going. I created an Instagram account for Ellen and posted a few videos of her playing some of her favorite musician songs for bass. And one day I got a DM from the musician team, and what I read in that message was just mind-blowing. Here, I'll let you guys see it. Hi Ellen, I'm Marcus, the songwriter and music producer at Musician here in faraway Tampere, Finland. I've made the musician songs you've shared videos of on Facebook, and your playing totally blew me and my colleagues away. And it really, really warms our hearts to see how much passion and fun you have with music. We have lots of fun at work as well, and it's great to see it's coming through. You rock! I really felt that you needed your own song and musician, so we put together some hopefully cool and appropriately challenging grooves and licks to have fun with. I wrote it and played the drums, percussion, keys, 
alto, tenor, baritone, saxophones, and sang it, with my colleague Velu playing guitar and Auntie doing the bass and notating the exercise. And James, our guitar teacher, contributed a few lines to the lyrics. Go look for the song Ellen's Groove on Musician Bass and have fun. Thanks for inspiring us tremendously and keep up the awesome work. We'll surely see you up there with the greatest in the future. Marcus from Musician. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? And because I like planning everything ahead, I didn't tell her anything about this message. And I prepared a big surprise for her. This is what happened the next day. Hello, search image. Bang, get him out. Ellen. Ellen? Oh. Ellen's groove? Why? Oh no! Ellen's groove? Wounds. Wounds. Nice! We're in the car! No, you're Yeah, listen, it's hard now. So I decided to take this whole awesomeness even further and suggested shooting a collaboration music video with Ellen and musicians at Musician. Does that make sense? To which they said, hell yeah, let's do it. And from here, I will let Marcus to take over. Hey, Marcus. Hey, this is Marcus. I'm the music producer at Musician. So I first saw Ellen when a colleague of mine, James, posted a video of her playing a Musician song called The Grim Librarian, which is a doom metal song. And it was quite a contrast to see this eight-year-old girl playing a doom metal song and it starts off with these doomy slow riffs and she was nailing it and I was like, all right, this is cool. But the song builds up into this kind of galloping frenzy of heavy metal and she was just nailing all the parts and doing all these crazy blues rundowns. And I was like, wow, this is awesome. And then I looked up some other videos she had posted playing musicians, most difficult bass songs and she was just completely nailing them all. And I was like, this is just so cool that we need to write this girl her own song right now. And this is how it turned out like. It's a lemon in the house, y'all. Serving us the grooves. Don't be fooled by the size of this player. Uh, she knows the grooves and her legs will slay her.
That was fun, right? I'm so proud of her. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, Ellen has a new channel. Go subscribe to the channel and show some love. And for those who want to sign up for Musician, they were kind enough to provide a 25% discount code, which is Ellen25. And it will be valid until end of July. And as always, don't forget to share, comment, like, dislike, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.